Hello friends. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for just a few minutes and everybody to pop on. And I'm gonna post my shopping link right here in the comments. So everything you're about to see is gonna be available right there, rayahopebeauty.com. I'll pin it right here. And then like I um, always say, if you guys need to be color matched, go ahead and comment color match in the comments. Or if you need me to message you for any help or anything, just let me know that as well. But how is everybody? Hope you guys have had a good and safe weekend. I was gonna come on and go live during the weekend, but we just had like so much family time. It was kind of nice to take the little weekend off. Just chill. And all of our restaurants opened. So we went out on Saturday and got dinner with friends. It was so nice to be like out in public. <laughs> it was so refreshing, but hope you guys are all having a good Monday. Good morning. So we're gonna do some full coverage. We're gonna do a really simple eye look. We're gonna do a new, I have a new idea for a lip look that we're gonna do. And then I had something exciting to announce, kind of. Well, most, not most of you, but a lot of you may already have seen, but um, our corporate announced today, finally, um, about a new product that we're launching July 1st. So I've been actually on the product panel for this particular product, um, trying it, giving my opinion on it, and being kind of the guinea pig for it. And a lot of you guys, like over this last month, I've been, I, I hate keeping secrets, and this has been like one of the hardest ones to keep. But um, for the past 30 days, I have been using a new product, and you guys have noticed the results in my under eyes. A lot of you guys have messaged me and asked me what I've been using for my fine lines. A lot of you guys have been asking for brightness. Um, and just some of you have been like, what's going on with your under eyes? Why do they look so much better? <laughs> and I'm so excited. But July 1st, you can get your hands on this guy. This is Unique's brand new product. This is the eye cream. Looks like that. I've been using it every single day, AM and PM. There's a hair in here. My hair. <laughs> I've been using it um, every morning, every night for the last 30 days, um, and I will be posting like all of my before and after photos. I've been taking a picture every single day for 30 days um, to kind of gauge how quick I saw the results. You guys actually saw the results before I did, um, so I thought that was kind of cool. Perfect. If you need to be color matched, go ahead and just comment it in the bottom, and I will go ahead and message you. Um, but yeah, so I've been using this night cream, the Uology Eye Cream and I am obsessed, so in love. I typically don't like wearing eye creams or any cream in general underneath my makeup. I find that it makes my under eyes more creasy, more greasy, more shiny. This one, however, incredible. The biggest thing that I have noticed with this is that it makes your under eyes so tight, like so tight and it smells so, so good. There's so many incredible product or ingredients in this. Um, it's amazing. So I will definitely be giving you guys more information, everything leading up to July 1st. So be on the lookout for all of that. It will sell out. Like it will. We have been asking for an eye cream for years and I know this product is going to sell out. So July 1st, set your alarms. I believe it's probably going to launch around... I would guess 9 a.m. because that's kind of what they typically do, 9 a.m. Um, but so good. Yes, yeah, so you can apply with your fingers or you can apply with this guy right here. It's a little applicator and you just like massage it on. But what I've been doing is I've been applying it and then I've been like massaging it on with this guy and it's, it's metal so it stays like really cold. So it really helps with under eye puffiness. It's really, really good. You can use it AM and PM. I would recommend using it both. There's no harm in using it two times. You'll see results faster if you use it two times. Yes, for sure. Like, it's crazy how, like, tight my under eyes look and feel. Yes, oh my gosh, me too. I think that's why they chose me to be on the product panel, because I had such severe dark circles. They're like, this girl. <laughs> we'll find, we'll see results in this chick. Um, but I was really, really, really pleasantly surprised. Okay, thank you, Dawn. 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. July 1st is when you can grab it on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. So make sure you snag this. I will be, like I said, posting more information about it. Um, my time is Pacific Standard, and that's also corporate's time. Yes, absolutely. Uh, dark sunken in eyes. Yes, it will work for you. It's been like, I've been really 
really, really, really impressed with it. I have only been using it on my under eyes. And also I should say this too, we weren't allowed to use like anything else with it. Like I was only allowed to use this as far as skincare goes. I wasn't allowed to use this with, um, my uplift beauty oil which i'm obsessed with you guys know that um i wasn't allowed to use it with my uology serum so i haven't been able to use any of my skincare besides this so i could see direct results from this so i thought that was kind of at first i was like oh man but i'm glad that they did that in the end because i really got to see like the true results from it so i'm excited because now i'm like relinquished <laughs> they're like okay now do whatever so i'm excited to now implement my other uology line in with this to see if i can like enhance the results even more i'm also going to start using it on my like lap my smile lines here and see if i can see any big results with that too Yes, you can use it on your eyelids. You can use it on underneath. It's very, very gentle, very sensitive. We're able to try this out. So um, Unique has what's called a product panel. So they select top earners from the from our world, <laughs> from Unique World. Um, and they so there are six of us or five of us. So they select five people and they send you the product and you get to try it. You get to give your feedback on it. Um, you take your before and afters. You have meetings throughout the 30 days discussing it, um, all the things. So I, I'm on that. It's called product panel. It's going to be $59. Okay, so enough about that. So July 1st, keep on the lookout for that. But now let's do some makeup. Now let's get our fl flawless full coverage. Yes, it'll be fifty nine. Uh huh. And you'll find it right here, rayahopebeauty.com, and it's going to be under skincare, obviously. Um, and it will launch July first at six a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So set your alarms. Set it for like five thirty because there's going to be a line. Um, okay, so let's do our makeup. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to use the Liquid Touch Foundation in the shade Lace. I always shake up the bottle really well and then I squeeze the little topper and then I'm just going to use that to apply. Now the applicator is going to be sold separately and the applicator is $15. $15. The applicator actually works really well with the other options as, uh, of skincare too, like the Uplift Beauty Oil. I'm like really excited. I get, like I said, I get to start using everything else tonight. Uh, so I'm going to use the applicator, this little metal thing. Um, with my uplift beauty oil i'm really excited about that all right so like i said i'm going to use my liquid touch foundation in the shade lace for today's coverage i love this coverage because it's just fast it's easy it's flawless it's fast like i said <laughs> um but i really really love just how full coverage this is it hides everything you got going on so if you have dark circles if you have sunspots if you have whatever scarring anything this will hide it and it's not heavy it doesn't feel like you're wearing a mask it's not drying um it's amazing it also has ingredients in it that help to prevent it from clogging your pores so it's really healthy for your skin it also has ingredients in it that also help to um slow the signs of aging which i'm like yes i will have that um, do they have anything for puffy eyelids? Yes. So the eye cream is going to be like what you're going to want for that as well. Which one the first? The beauty oil or the eye cream? The beauty, I'm sorry, the eye cream launches July 1st. I keep freezing. Am I freezing for anybody else? Should I'm trying to decide if I should undo for my Wi-Fi. Do you need the applicator? Um, no, you don't need it. It's kind of nice because I like the cool metal on your under eyes, especially if you have under eye puffiness, but you don't like have to have it. Is the foundation set good for your skin also? Absolutely, yes. Both of our, all of our foundation options have that same ingredient that help to prevent it from seeping into your pores. Um, no, does it work? Yes. All right, so now I'm using my blending bud. And I'm going to go just gonna go everywhere over everywhere with this. And this really, really, really is like the, the secret. This is how you're gonna get that super soft look, that super smooth look, that really full coverage look, because it's compressing the makeup down in a place rather than just kind of like buffing it on top. So this is really smoothing everything out, especially if you have large pores or fine lines and wrinkles. This is going to be your must-have tool. 
No freezing, freezing, no freezing, freezing. <laughs> Not freezing. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm all good there. Okay, I guess I'll just stay. I'm gonna stay put. Um, but if I am freezing, maybe undo from your Wi-Fi and see if that helps. All right, so that is the full coverage, you guys. I can literally throw that foundation on in like less than a minute. It is such good coverage. Look at that. Totally takes away any redness, evens out your complexion, doesn't feel heavy, doesn't feel cakey, doesn't feel like anything is on my skin. My top is from Cotton On like two years ago, but I will link similar. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. My name there is Rhea Hope, and I will go on my Instagram story as soon as I get off here, and I will link it there. The announcement that I did was that the eye cream that Unique just launched releases July 1st. That was my big announcement, but... I wasn't even going to say anything until it got closer just because you guys can't order it until July 1st, but I am not kidding. I've gotten so many DMs over the last, uh, like month, especially the last two weeks, um, asking what I've been using for skincare. <laughs> so you guys have been definitely noticing my under eyes. So I had to come out and let you guys know what's going on. All right. So now I'm taking my skin perfecting concealer. And as you saw, I really warm it up in between my fingers and that's going to help the consistency uh kind of thin out a little bit and it really helps just to blend it out really nicely and really softly on your skin are they going to bring back a lot of the discontinued items that they got rid of yes amy we're gonna definitely i don't know anything like what they're exactly bringing back but a lot of the things that got discontinued or got taken off the website are just being either repackaged or reformulated just to um, keep up with like today's standards of ingredients, like just like medicine. We, especially with makeup, it's come so far. There's so many different like ingredients that you can include and that are being invented and discovered. So Unique always is trying to keep, keep up with the Joneses, you know? Um, and that's not to say like we're trying to keep up with the company, but we're trying to just keep up with the world and like I said there's so many new things out there as far as ingredients go that make makeup better and healthier and cleaner and whatever so um yeah unique just trying to keep all of that in mind but don't worry we are gonna have a poppin product like everything on the website is gonna look so good I'm really excited for what's to come what color concealer I'm using the shade organza in my concealer and then I use the shade lace in my liquid touch that's what I have on my skin right now, Lace and Organza. And both of those are in stock. Um, I love the concealer too, and I always say this. Uh, if you guys have dark circles or like, uh, like purpley blue undertones, the shade Organza is like the best concealer color for that because the pink undertones cancel out those purple and blue tones. So if you have, like I keep saying, dark circles or any issues with your under eyes, that concealer's legit. All right, so now for setting, because I have oily skin, I need to set it really well. So I take the Touch Bold Setting Spray, and I'll mist it on top of this dry beauty blender. And now I'm going to take my loose powder foundation in the shade Crepe. So it comes like this little mesh plate, and I'm just going to push this in there really well. Um, it can be a little bit messy, so just keep that in mind. But I'm going to take that on there, and then I'm going to press this on my under eye. And I'm going to put this wherever I have, um, like fine lines, wrinkles, a lot of oiliness. This is going to absorb any of that oil. It's going to drag it out of my skin and basically trap it. So I pop this wherever I get really shiny or really oily throughout the day. Now my only like warning with this product, because it is a loose powder foundation, it's not really a setting powder. It can be a little bit drying on your skin. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you're more prone to being, um, like that powdery or that cakey look. A lot of people just have that skin that just is more so prone to that. You're not going to want to use this product. But if you have oily skin, really oily skin, or if you have um, normal skin, you could totally use this. So again, that was a loose powder foundation in the shade Crepe is what I used to set. So that works really well and I like sweep it away like right away so I don't have like a ton of that product sitting on my skin for too long um, and that's going to be under foundations. So you can actually also use this to um, provide full coverage if you got your true shade. The spray foundation I think is coming back at the end of the month. I believe. 
Um, but make sure that you are signed up for my tech subscribe service. So that way you'll be alerted, uh, when new products get launched or when old products get restocked, which is super easy. All you have to do is text Raya Hope to the phone number 25456. So text Raya Hope to 25456 and you'll be opted in to receive my notifications. What order would you apply the Eulogy Serum for your own eye cream? So I would do my eye cream first and then my serum and then your oil. That's how you'll do it because the cream absorbs really quickly and then the serum absorbs second fastest. Um, you could also do serum and then cream, but honestly, I like the cream first. That's what I would do. Yay, I'm so excited. I know I am early today. All right, so for my uh, all over coverage, I just picked up this pressed powder color. This is the shade Jacquard and all of our powders, when they come, they get like a little sponge, which I literally throw in the trash. I hate that thing. Don't use it. <laughs> it makes your found, makes your powder look so patchy. Not a fan. And then it comes with this little sticker. I don't know if you guys knew that. And then it also comes with this little plate, which holds the little sponge. And I just pop that off. <laughs> now it's ready to use. <laughs> like thanks for all the stuff bye um okay so what I like doing with this is I love this for my all over oops drop something all over coverage so I'm going to use my big powder brush and I'm going to apply this all over I'm going to tap this all over and this is going to provide me that really gorgeous full coverage look so this shade jacquard I wanted to pick it up so I could give it a try to see how that compares with the other powders and using it right now I really like it it's very similar to satin chiffon and maybe taffeta can use it too it's a little bit darker than I was anticipating to be honest uh, but I don't not like it it's actually kind of a pretty warm color it has a little bit pink undertones to it which I see but I like it get down with this so again this is shade chicard um so if you have um if you wear like i said satin chiffon maybe taffeta you could use this color i'm just using this on a big giant kabuki brush and i'm just bouncing this off my skin all over and like i said this pressed powder is so so good it really does kind of like even out your complexion and bumps up that coverage a little bit more also is going to give you that really like porcelain doll finish because it just makes your skin look so soft yes how come you've moved from shade poplin I wanted to try it and that's kind of why I'm like all for like trying new things especially from our line so I grabbed this shade just to compare it because I've never personally used it on my skin um which I looking at it you can kind of see the the very slight difference in it so this is poplin and then this is jacquard so you can see it's a little bit warmer, a little bit darker, but not too much. So, and I went really light on it on my skin. Usually I kind of go a little heavier. I think Poplin for me would be a better match, but I normally wear the shades Organza and Lace. So Jacquard would be better if you um, did Satin or Chiffon. So that's that would be my recommendation. But if my foundation ever looks too light on my skin, what I like to do is I like to use my, a darker pressed powder to even it out throughout my neck. So that's a really good little trick, especially with summertime. If your foundation is ever looking a little lighter than you think it should on your skin. All right, so another new product that I just got was this guy, same exact product, the pressed powder, but this is in the shade, this is in the shade Twill. And this is going to be very similar to the shade Chiffon, or Ch la la la, Chenille, which is my favorite contour color. So, what if you are Organza, you'll want the shade Poplin, Faye. What is your favorite way to apply PB BB cream? I apply all of my foundations with the blending buds. These, This is my favorite to apply all foundations with because it really makes everything look super, super smooth. So, blending buds, hands down. What color would I use if you're Velour? Poplin. Keep it coming. What else do you want to know? Aw, thanks, Michelle. Thanks for being here. All right, so now for contour, like I said, I took off that little, all the things. <laughs> Look at the cute little emblem. Isn't that cool? Um, okay, so we're going to use the shade Twill, and I'm going to take my powder concealer brush, and I'm going to tap this in here, swirl into the mirror, tap it off, especially when it's a new color that I've never used. I'm going to go from the top of the ear to the corner of the mouth, and we are going to go back and forth with this guy, 
And this color is going to be very similar to the shade Chenille or the shade Hermosa in the bronzer. So this is a really good product if you want just a very soft, subtle contour color. Because of the way that our pressed powders are made, they're made to blend out. They're made super duper soft and very blendable. So this is a perfect kind of learning tool, especially if cream contours freak you out a little bit. I've been using a cream contour lately. I was actually gonna use it today, but I honestly just forgot. Um, but this is a really, really good product to give you that really good warmth and to uh, give you that really kind of dimensional structure to your face, which is really flattering on, makes your makeup look better, all over makes it better. I just wanna get up and do makeup. Oh, I love that, Samantha. Thank you. Okay, so around the jawline, I'm just going to give you that supermodel jaw. But like I said, everything I'm using it is available in stock. It's all right here, rayahopebeauty.com. And if you need to be color matched or if you have any other questions, let me know. Yes, yeah, so I'm using the tapered blusher brush to contour with. Would you recommend to pump out fine lines around the mouth? Oops, why did I pin you? Unpin comment. Um, I would use the blending bud though for that comment. It's a little lighter than your normal. I like it. Yeah, it is a little bit softer than the chenille color. I'm going to repin my website right here. I think I accidentally unpinned it. So rayahopebeauty.com. That's my website right there. Thank you. Yes, and then you can always like enhance this color and warm it up and give it a little bit more um, like depth to it if you're wanting. But this is a really, really good color. I like it. So again, it's the shade Twill. And it's going to be under your pressed powders. So this is the Uology, or the Unique Pressed Powder. Again, shade Twill. And it's really, really pretty. Yes, Hermosa is going to be very similar to this. Except this is going to be straight matte. The Hermosa does have that really slight, almost like sheen to it. This one's like fully matte. Uh, what shade BB cream and foundation is lace? You could actually go both ways. I wear lace and I can wear bisque and honey. Um, so I would say get honey since you'll probably get tanner with the summer. I'm blonde and a nurse. What is the best for a natural look? The BB Flawless is very natural. I actually used that in a tutorial the other day. Um, so that would be really natural. You could also do the liquid touch like I did today and then just set it immediately with your pressed powder and that will just give you a full coverage, like very soft look. So that would be a good one too. And that would actually have a better hold than the BB cream because the BB cream has more of a dewy finish, which can cause a little bit more transferring. Finally, during my forehead, do you think the eye cream would help? Yes, Samantha, absolutely. <laughs> so good. All right, so now for blush to give us back that color, I'm going to use the shade Sisterly. And I'm going to pop this on all over my cheek. And we're going to work up to the hairline. And this is the best, most favorite blush of mine that we have. It's so good. It gives you this really gorgeous, like, sheeny finish. It almost acts like a highlighter and blush in one. And it's so, so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? It makes your cheekbones pop. If you have not grabbed this blush color yet, do it today before it sells out again. It's a shade Sisterly, and it's so pretty. All right, so now for highlight, I'm going to use the Touch Lama Luminizer. I'm going to use the shade Iridescent today. I'm just going to pop this on the bridge and tip my nose and then highest parts of my cheekbones. The shade Pearly is also a really, really pretty one, and that one is fully in stock. And I'm just going to pop this on my cheekbones like that cupid's bow a little bit and that's it all right so now let's move on to our eyebrows yes this really is my favorite um my hair is exactly like yours and i know it's off subject but how do you get it to curl i can't figure it out shelly i would definitely make sure that you grab either the Laduo, which is a new uh curling iron plus flat iron it's like a two-in-one um by Lange, which my Lange website is right here which i can also message you that that's my launch website. Um, or I would grab the Rev Flat Iron. All right, so now for brows, I'm going to quickly do them because they're a hot mess. I cannot wait for our salons to open. I'm going to use my um, Brow Obsession Palette. I'm going to tap it into the pomade on both sides, tap it into my powder so it's fully on there. And then what I like to do is I like to kind of push this on the front of my eyebrow right there. And then connect it on top. And then connect it on bottom. And then I'll take this all the way up into the arch. And this is honestly probably the easiest tool to use if you are not experienced with doing your eyebrows. Because it's, it's literally like paint by numbers. <laughs> it 
so easy. And to know where to cap it off, you just follow your tear duct up. But it gives you a very, very subtle looking eyebrows. So if you aren't into that whole like stamped on look, you're still going to get that really nice structure to your like face. And it's going to make your eyes look larger and more like wide awake. Um, but without looking like you got stamped on with an eyebrow. <laughs> oh, awesome. Thank you. All right. So now the other side. Again, tap into the pomade, tap into the powder, go from the tear duct up. And I kind of just press very lightly, just a little line. And then connect it on top, connect it on bottom, and then I'll take it to the arch, to the top, and then take it to the arch on the bottom, connect it through the tail, and I don't like overdraw the tail, it just kind of goes right through, and then color in. But very, very simple to use, and I love that the brow palettes come with multiple colors. So if your hair is kind of in between, you can absolutely use the lighter brown if you're wanting to. You can mix them together. There's lots of options there. So it's not kind of like a one size fits all like the pencils. Yes, I will send you the link to the big brush. Skull and blue primer. Um, nothing works really. Don't bridge it get a hand. Uh, yes, the blurring primer is this guy right here. This is the mattifying face primer and it has a blurring effect to it, which is really helpful. Um, and then also I would recommend the Cora 3 by a company called Fancy, which they have an exfoliant head and it's incredible. It's so, so good. Um, so if you want the link to that, just message me and I can give that to you. This is called the Brow Obsession Palette, and then it comes with two powders, two highlights, and then a pomade, and you want to make sure you grab this right here. This is called the Brow Artist Brush. These two together are like the best thing ever for doing your brows. So good. Uh, so what happened if my hair is literally falling out? What product should I use? Cassie, message me and I could give you a, uh, my hair growth regimen that I have been swearing by over the last few months. Yes, Cora 3 is so good. All right, so now that that's done, now I'm going to use my eyeliner in the shade Perfect, which our kudos is still going on, which if you're not familiar, the kudos is like our monthly deal. Every month it's something different. This month you get any eyeliner, any two eyeshadows, any mascara, and any eyeshadow brush. That whole, the whole bundle is, I think, $86, which is like almost 20% savings it's such a good deal but you get to choose any eyeliner including the dip and draw which i'm going to use too but right now i'm going to use my fluffy crease brush which again all of these are included you get to choose whichever one and i'm going to take whoop, almost dropped it we're going to take the shade gingerly which is one of my absolute favorite colors it looks good on everyone it's kind of like that color that's in every palette that you get it's like that neutral shade that looks good on everyone and every eye color or every like eyeshadow look lisa i'll message you my my regimen uh brow art yes it's so good so everything i'm using is going to be available on my website rayahopebeauty.com and then if anything is out of stock and you need a new idea of a uh, substitution just message me and I would be so happy to help you all you have to do to message me is either comment message me and I'll start a conversation with you right now um or I will or you can message me directly by clicking on my face a little description window will pop down and you can message me that way too all right so I'm just gonna pop gingerly all on like that and this color like I said really makes your eyes pop and now I'm going to take my liner shader brush. This is another one of my favorites. And I'm going to take that gingerly color again and just draw this underneath the lower lash line. The difference between the Cora 7 and the Cora 3, the Cora 7 has a handheld uh, like bar to it. So you can use it in the shower as well. It's more of like a body brush, but you can also use it as a facial brush. Oh, thank you. Mention your hair regimen. Okay, Angela, I'll message you. Uh, can you message your hair? Yes, Darcy. Message you. Just ordered the month's kudos. Yay! Oh my gosh, Gingerly is seriously one of my favorite colors ever. I'm just drawing this underneath. Samantha, I'll message you too. Like to Kristen. <laughs> and uh, JC. I hope I said your name right. 
And if I'm saying I'm messaging you and you don't see it, check your request folder. And if you still don't see a message from me, then just message me and the message will pop up. Message, message, message. And again, how to do it is you're just going to click on my face. A little window should pop down and you'll be able to um, click on my name, which will take you to my Facebook page and you'll be able to message me there. All right, so now for the last part of my eye look, I'm just taking my dip and draw eyeliner in the shade Perfect, which is just like a simple black, and I'm just going to draw a very simple line on top, and I love this eyeliner. I am like so not that great at eyeliner. I'll be the first to admit it, and this actually makes me feel like I'm a professional. <laughs> it does all the work for you. Look at how like it's like a dagger, um, and it makes doing this so easy. It's pigmented so you don't have to like keep drying, keep drying, keep drying. And it dries very quickly so you don't have to worry about it smudging or anything. And then if you do a mess up because of how fast it dries, you can actually just kind of like scrape it off and it will come right off. So it's, I love this eyeliner, which again, you can choose this in the kudos. I'm just going to take that out a little further. Just like that. Hello. Awesome. Hi, guys. So like I said, if you need to be color matched, just comment color match in the comments and then I can do so. And all I need is a selfie facing window and I give you a recommendation. It's water resistant, Amanda. Would you say satin or chiffon in the foundation would be the medium skin tone for rosy undertones? Probably chiffon, but send me a selfie, Tony, and I can, uh, mess or I can give you an accurate recommendation. Okay, so now <laughs> the dagger thing. It's so, I, I cannot not do it. It looks like a dagger. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to just set my makeup. I go hog wild with this stuff because it is so good. It's like rainwater. It really takes away that makeup-y look, that powdery look. It is so good for your skin. It like adds this like moisture effect to your makeup so it makes it expand which helps it to look way more natural and also helps to prevent transferring so if you are not using the setting spray gotta get a girl it is so good and you also will want to use it before you put on your makeup so for me for example I wash my face in the morning spray my rose water I let it dry I apply my eye cream on my under eyes I let that seep in for about an hour um, if I have time if not I'll just go right into the makeup routine um, and then I do my setting spray primer setting spray so I do both of these things setting spray primer setting spray and then my foundation and I swear by that pre makeup routine you guys it's like my hidden little secret it is so good it makes your makeup look so much more full coverage uh, it helps minimize your appearance of your pores fine lines you name it it is so good oh thanks Sherry you're so sweet I use Unique's rose water it's out of stock right now hopefully it'll be back in stock very soon um but our rose water is incredible. I love it. What colors do you use on your eyelids? I just used the shade Gingerly. That was it. And that's such a good color. It like makes it look like you like did this whole crazy eye look. But it was just Gingerly. And that's it. Just Gingerly. Um, okay. Dang it. I forgot I wanted to do this. So I'm going to take my Touch the Mode Luminizer in the shade Iridescent really fast. And this is a really gorgeous highlight. And I'm actually going to use this on the inner corner of my eye. I'm just going to kind of very lightly press this. And this really makes your eye look kind of pop. So we're just going to pop that right there. Isn't that pretty? Again, that was the Touch Elma Luminizer. This is like our cream. And that's really good. And you can also use it on for your highlighted areas as well. Oh, thank you. Yes, July 1st, the eye cream will launch. All right, so let's finish up our eyes. So I'm going to take my lash primer and go from the base of the lash all the way up and this helps your lashes look that much more full like fuller longer more luscious and it also has a really amazing hydrating ingredient in it which helps to hydrate and make your lashes stronger and in my opinion helps them to curl so i'm gonna pop that all over I know, me too. Definitely stock up on Gingerly for sure. Okay, so now I'm going to use my 4D mascara, and this is hands down my favorite mascara ever. It gives really, really good length and volume. A lot of mascaras out there, I feel like, give you one or the other. They make your 
lashes long but then they look like spider legs or they make your lashes full but then they look clumpy this mascara is so good it has fibers and gel infused in it but there's no fallout from the fibers because they're on the smaller bristles so as it's going it's wrapping each hair each little lash in a fiber hook it's so good and it's water resistant like i said but hands down my favorite mascara I think I've ever, ever used. It's so amazing. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. Oh, it's so good. Uh, your skin's beautiful. Thank you. I swear by our skincare, you guys. Our skincare is literally life-changing. So amazing. Okay, and then if you guys need to be color matched, like I said, just comment color match in the comments. Make sure you look for my message in your inbox. It'll be in Messenger, I believe. Um, and then it might be in the requested folder. Facebook tries to hide it sometimes. So make sure you check that little spot too. But if you still don't see my message, go ahead and send me one. And then our message will, will pop up. Uh, tell me again how you use your primer and setting spray. So I wash my face in the morning. I'll spray my face with rose water. I let it dry. Then I do my eye cream. I let that saturate into my skin. And then I do my setting spray all over then my primer, then my setting spray. And obviously you're gonna wait for your setting spray to dry in between. And then I let my primer sit on my skin for about three to five minutes before I do my setting spray again. Kept looking for your under eyes and noticed a difference. Yes, right? So many of you guys messaged me. I think you were one of them, Carol, that messaged me and asked me. And I wanted to say it so bad, but it wasn't allowed. But now I'm so excited. July 1st, definitely grab that. All right, Randy, I'll message you. Okay, so now our eyes are done. Last thing we're gonna do is our lips. I'm gonna try this new lip combo that, I don't know if it'll work out, but hopefully it looks good because we're live. <laughs> Nothing like trying something new live. Okay, so we're gonna take the Lip Liner in Prudent, which is my absolute favorite color. You guys know this. I use it basically every single day. And on a liner, let's at this. And I love these lip liners because they're smudge proof. They're only 15 bucks. They're creamy, they glide on, they help your lipstick prevent from transferring. They're so good. The eye cream launches July 1st at 6 a.m. All right, and then color through. And then I want to make sure that this is really filled in because this is the lip look. But we're going to do something else to it too. Isn't that pretty? Very, very soft, which I like. Okay, so now I'm going to take my, where did I put My concealer. All right, now I'm going to take a little bit of my concealer. And... We're gonna pop this on. Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, I hope this shows. But I'm keeping it only in the center. Now you guys have asked for like lip recommendations that will hold with wearing a mask. I've had to rack my brain and I've been trying new different things, but this right here, perfect. It's not going to transfer. It's not really bold. It's not really dark or really light or whatever. That was just the concealer and the lip liner in Prudent. That was it. And you can do this trick with any of our lip liners. You can fill it all the way in and use the concealer just like popped in the center. But very, very soft. I really, really like it. And it doesn't feel like I have anything on my lips. Um, Holly, you're going to go to this website right here, rayahopebeauty.com. Um, yes, probably two weeks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to link my uh, top, a similar one, because this one I got like two years ago. Um, I will link a similar one on my Instagram story. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. My name there is Rhea Hope. And you're going to want to watch the Instagram stories, which if you go to my Instagram, you go to the profile picture on the top left hand corner. It's you'll see my picture. Um, click there and it will begin to play my my stories and then you can see it. Um, and Lux Lip, no, the Lux Lip Gloss is not coming back, but a similar one will probably take its place, I assume. 
Um, you'll have to message corporate Robin. That uh, color is the shade Iridescent in the Cream to Powder Highlight. And everything, like I said, is available right here, rayahopebeauty.com. And then everything is a love it guarantee as well, if I didn't mention that already. So if you don't love anything for any reason, you could just return it for your money back, which I love that about our company. Um, but if you need any help picking out products or tools or whatever, please message me. And if you don't see a message from me, um, message me again, and I would be so happy to help you. I'm sorry, sometimes my emails get like buried. Uh, but just send me another message, and I'd be so happy to help. So... Make sure you shop right here, rayahopebeauty.com, and then I will see you guys over on Instagram for the rest of the day. Bye.